Oh shit, this alleyway look nice. Shit, sure, where the fuck did I come? Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh Pikachu. Oh, let me catch. Yeah. <laughs> Man, straight up, I low key feel bad for Pokemon. Like they're just trying to live their life like any other organism in the world, and all of a sudden, some bitch ass human just comes at them, tosses a fucking ball at their forehead, and then the next second they wake up in a dark ass ball. Like, oh shit, what the fuck? And then they're forced to just follow the human's commands. It's, that's some. That's some. That's some fucked up shit right there. Man. Anyways, it is your friendly neighborhood cockroach here, and I'm back with the new Minecraft Let's Play, and imagine if I actually put- I was actually debating whether or not to put Minecraft gameplay in the back just to fuck with you guys. But anyway, we have a different topic of today, obviously, because the title's named the Pokemon Go Ramp, so I am gonna be throwing a little bit of shade on Pokemon Go players and myself because I do play Pokemon Go. Technically, I'm a hypocrite for making this rant video, but you know, okay, whatever, let's go. Alright, so don't get me wrong, I love Pokemon Go. It's a really, really, really great idea. Whoever the fuck came up with it, you're, you're just- you I don't even know what to say. You're just a fucking gangster, all right? You're a new level of being. Actually, no, let's not go that far. But still, whoever came up with the idea is a freaking genius. I mean, niggas out there losing weight playing this game for all for all. Most of my friends that I talk to don't even go outside. Most of them just usually sit on their ass playing video games or some shit. And ever since Pokemon Go came out, they actually got their lazy asses off the fucking computer and went outside to actually catch Pokemon. Shit, I mean, that's a really good thing that people are actually going outside to play this one game and people are uniting. This shit is trending. This shit is viral man almost everybody is playing this game and it's ridiculous dude even my dad fucking knows about the game like my dad gives less than two shit about video games but i don't know where i just had the thought process to ask him if he knew about pokemon go and he was like yeah i saw it on the tv the other day and i was just like oh shit you hit cousins like yeah I'm his cousin. so i don't know i might actually teach him to play it or some shit but right now i can't really make any pokemon go videos i'll explain it later in the video but once i get back to the u.s i'm gonna start making pokemon go videos because i know a lot of people have been asking me to play the game and i really want to record and play it too because i have so many skit ideas i have so many video ideas for it and it's just ridiculous that i have to hold it back until august i think i'll be coming back from my trip to nigeria at the beginning of august so i think i have like a week and a half left so that's pretty cool i just decided to make a rant video on it because i couldn't really make a pokemon go video so i just wanted to address the topic of pokemon go because i know a lot of you guys don't really follow me on twitter or instagram or anything else and i tweet about it a lot so if you don't already follow me on any of my social media i recommend you doing so right now i backtracked so bad man god damn Two minutes in and I'm not even ranting yet. What the fuck? First thing I'm gonna be talking about right here is the Pokemon Go servers. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been bitching about this lately, but it's just ridiculous. And it's not just because of the Poodle Corp DDoSing and shit. It's literally the fucking servers and how they handle them. Oh, our servers are experiencing issues. Please come back later. Oh, failed to get Dave data from the server. <laughs> so many people have been fucking complaining about this shit. Fucking PewDiePie, KSI, like those guys literally made YouTube videos talking shit on the servers. And what really sucks is that PewDiePie made a video going all around the city just trying to catch Pokemon and then when he walked this really 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 long ass distance to a park all you just saw in his phone was oh the Pokemon Go servers are shut down or some shit if that were me I would have just fucking ended my life right there I'm just playing but seriously that just really shows how unstable the servers are right now and they really need to fix that soon man like I could just imagine some dedicated ass Pokemon Go fan with a full fucking ass Ketchum cosplay outfit a plush toy Pikachu and a foam Pokemon backpack on and I'm telling you just do this dedicated with Pokemon. He has all the fucking Pokemon cards, the plush toys, the freaking stuffed animals. He has everything. And he has the voice of Carl from Jimmy Neutron. Good morning to you. We're all in our places. We're this dude walks like 20,000 miles just to catch a Snorlax and then all of a sudden our servers are experiencing issues Please come back later <laughs> And another thing that really pisses me off is that the game came out while I was in Nigeria I know that's a factor I can't control because they already planned when they were gonna release it They said sometime in July But what really annoys me is that in Nigeria we don't have the same service companies as America Like T-Mobile, Sprint and all that shit They don't have that in Nigeria They have different services And I have an American American service so obviously I have no service until I go to the United States the reason why that's a big issue is because the only thing that I have that's close to the internet is Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi only works around the perimeter of your house if you leave that perimeter the Wi-Fi obviously fades away so obviously I can't just walk outside try to catch Pokemon because by the time I go outside the Wi-Fi is gonna be gone and another issue is because I don't really know this area well so I can't just go outside and start walking around trying to say oh I'm gonna catch some Pokemon who knows I might get jumped robbed stabbed or even killed and plus I don't even really know this area well so I'm probably just gonna get lost before even all that shit happens to me so the only thing i have to resort to is catching pokemon around my house and i've actually become a little bit lucky i actually caught like three pokemon while i was taking a shit i got two while i was in bed and there was a pikachu on my map that was literally like one footstep away from me but i couldn't go and catch it because it was like one o'clock in the morning and if you don't believe me here's a tweet 
And another thing I really want to talk about are the no lives. And I know I might sound hella hypocritical for this, but some people act as if it's the end of the world when the servers are shut down. Nigga, what the fuck were you doing before the game even came out? You have a life, live it, and wait for the servers to come back. As I said before, I know it's extremely hypocritical, but there are two types of people that complain about the servers. The people that complain about the servers going off for a little bit and then moving on with their lives. And then the people that just endlessly bitch and cry about it as if Pokemon's their life and they have nothing else to do. Now, I'm not trying to offend anybody that does that, but I'm just saying it's really annoying after a while and I know some people might agree with me. As I said, it might be hypocritical to some of you guys, but it's the truth. And lastly, I want to talk about the hop-ons and what I mean by hop-ons are the people that just now found out about the game and I'm not really talking about the people that didn't really know what Pokemon was or the people that didn't really care about Pokemon until this game came out. I'm talking about the people that genuinely hated Pokemon in the past and thought it was a really stupid game and now they want to bandwagon on it because it's a big trend that's going on and everybody's doing it it might not annoy you but it really bothers me when i see a person like that because it's just so hypocritical like nigga when you were seven and i showed you what pokemon was on the ds you slapped that shit out my hand now that we're 16 and you see that pokemon go is trending you want to be my best friend and play that shit fuck out of here man that's pretty much all i wanted to talk about i hope i didn't really offend much people or at least the majority because i know a lot of people still take this shit to heart even after multiple times of you saying this shit isn't really supposed to be taken seriously but yo if you did enjoy this video drop a like if you're new and you just now found out about my channel feel free to check a couple videos out and subscribe feel free to comment down your thoughts and beans below and peace out <laughs>